today we are going to demonstrate the partial products algorithm to two-digit multipliers. The problem that you see here is 12 times 61 and we're going to use the partial products method to solve this problem. So you see here we've got the hundreds column, the tens column, and the ones column. So how we're going to approach this problem is we are going to start always on the left and we're going to take the highest place value which in this case is the tens column. So the first thing that we will do is we will take that 10 times 60 and that would give us 600 and we are very careful to line up the numbers in the logical place orders. So when we're done with that, we start on the left once again and we take the tens place and we say 10 times 1 and that would equal 10. Being careful to place the 10 in the right place value once again. Then we go over to the right side where the right side digits are and we take 2 times 60 or 60 times 2. Um, either one is fine. And we get 120 because we know that 6 times 2 is 12 and we just add on our 0 at the end and that's how we practice it before. And then the last digits to multiply would be 2 times 1. So you're just multiplying the 1's place. 2 times 1 equals 2. The next thing you do is you have your digits lined up very nicely. You add your 1's digits. So you've got 2 and then you have 2 plus 1 is 3, and then 6 plus 1, which is 7, your answer being 732. And that is an example of how you do the partial products algorithm method.